Um, BG cleanup. So how clean is clean? Like, is that an acceptable BG? Not, not really. Um, that's more like a thumbnail. What I do, th this is about how clean I'll go for a board. Um, I always make sure the grid is there and the perspective is clear. I, I could indicate the perspective not with a grid but with you know gravel bits as well if I really wanted to. Um, I know in feature in feature it seems like they don't like the grid as much they like um, you know using the environment to indicate. So if I get rid of the grid you can see you know some of the perspective is indicated there and if I added a uh, I don't know, some kind of repeatable element, like there's a, I don't know what they call them, car stopper things. Right now I'm just eyeballing all this, but you know, then you can indicate the perspective that way if you have some kind of repeatable element. So uh, yeah, I'll drop in um, the grid. The, my thought is that in TV, you don't have a lot of time, like the Background team is going to indicate the perspective with the bits of dirt and the and things on the side or, or whatever. Um, so yeah, that that's about how, how clean I'll go. I'll use, uh, again, like hard architecture, I'll use shift. Just because it, it's super fast hand drawing it. Like, I don't know, maybe I, <laughs> I haven't led a clean life. Like my lines aren't that straight. <laughs> So a shift, you just get a, a technical clean line. You're not thinking about it. You're not worrying about your line quality. You're just drawing the line. Um, so here's my process. Uh, first I'll thumbnail. I'll be like, okay, this character, I want a, a shot where a character is running downhill. Maybe I'll, I'll even be like, I just want it to be a big a shot, but they're, they're being chased by something. And they're running and we'll follow them. Um, so I'll do that and then I'll draw out the background in the layout. Um, and I'll, I'll try and keep it simple in storyboard pro. I'll have a four, whatever my foreground elements are. I'll have, um, a horizon line. I'll write out, but I'll usually make it invisible. It doesn't even matter really. I'll have my grid for maybe an area where the ground plane might be important. And then, you know, I'll have my background. Um, yeah, again, like I just kind of built it out, uh, you know, I'll take, I'll take my rough thumb, sorry to show how I built it out. Um, you know, I'll have my thumb now, and I'll place it here and I'll use the light box tool and then I'll start just drawing it based on the perspective that I've established. Put in the grid and then yeah I'll just kind of work back and forth maybe I'll do a really rough first version just to make sure everything is placed where I need it to be placed um, cool uh, uh, after I put in the background I have all the perspective figured out I'll do what I, I did earlier with when I was uh, showing my warm-up is uh, I'll place the character in the background and I'll just start drawing them here. Uh, I drew this all last night so I could go through, but I draw the character. I know that he's running down here and uh, you know, he's a stick figure. I'd go over this again with cleans. Um, but I want to make sure all the foot placement makes sense. Like the perspective kind of makes sense. And I'll clean it up again um, later. And that, after I do all this, I'll uh, duplicate the layer a few times, right? And I'll um, start deleting his drawings. So here my hockey is delete layer. So I'm going through and um, just deleting all the, all the uh, drawings I had above and below them. So you can already see them running down. Um, uh, last night I, I did this already. It doesn't take that long to do. 
So you can see he runs through. Um, a nice trick to know about Storyboard Pro is uh, one, two, two ways you could try and make your cleanup go a little bit quicker is you could, you could just add a new layer. If I'm like, I don't want to fill in this character with white to make him pop against the background. So I'll do something like that. And then he'll be really clear against the background, but we can still see the background. So I do a white layer on top and lower the opacity. Or what you could do is um, I'll go into generate auto mat. And you got to play around with the radius and mat settings and all that. I'll create a new mat and it will fill in most of them. Let's generate auto mat. I'll fill in the rest. So now I have that dark background, but he's uh, filled in, so he pops off the background. So there's kind of two ways you can approach it. If you have less time and don't don't care as much, um, this works perfectly fine. Like it's very readable. Um, that work that works as well. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could even add a white behind him. And now this is super readable. Um, I like this too because he has black lines. Um, so he really pops. Like uh, putting the background all in gray is great. and puts in the background where it belongs. So I have this run. And now that I have this kind of fun layout, in Storyboard Pro, I'll uh, if I feel like it, it is warranted, I'll add camera moves. So adding like a tracking shot with this guy. Um, let me hit play, maybe it's timed out okay. Yeah, it's kind of timed out okay. So I'll have my, the way I'll do that, and I'll just remake the camera move. So it runs down on this layout. I'll add a camera, add camera, position A, and then here I'll add camera at the end of panel. So now the camera, it's not moving. I'll go to the camera setting right here. I'll bring it in. Uh, no, I want to track with them. So now I'll just widen. And I know I want the end camera position to be down here. Okay, and now it'll track like that, but it's not following him. So uh, you can see when you're in camera mode, I have this kind of blue line right here. I'll grab that <clears throat> where I want the camera to arch or uh, add a add an arch to it. So right around here, let's say. Now when it comes down, it'll arch and swoop around with them. And then uh, I'll be like, oh wait a minute, like the camera's still going, but he's left frame. Like oh, I want the camera to be you know, hit that end pose a little bit sooner because he's not really moving in the frame too much. And um, unfortunately, I deleted my key, so I'll just redo it quick. Yeah, that's better. Cool. And then that, that's how I'll do a scene pretty quick. And if I were to turn this in, you know, I'd clean him up more and I'd bring in the model. I um, wonder if I can... Lots of times what I'll do is I'll uh, sorry my Cintiq gets a little buggy sometimes. Import images layer. Like I'll find my my uh, model sheets. Here I'll just bring in a, a Mau Mau character. This is what I'm working on. So I'll have my model sheet and I'll bring it over here on another layer. And then I, I have it for easy ac access and study. And I can, um, or, or put on my other monitor as well. That works fine. So yeah, I'll go back and forth. And um, that, that's how I'll clean up the scene. And it goes pretty quick. 